So as you can see, uh, we have our little robot here. I found this on the itch.io assets, and we can jump. That's that's basically it. As you can see, we can go up there. We can jump here. We can move around. It's pretty nice. You just press space to jump, and then we can't get back up there. So now you think, how do we make this? Well, well, I'm gonna show you now. So I'm gonna edit this project, and we're gonna kind of just look at the code and show you. So we have our player here, everything happens in the script, so let's just look at this so far. We have a variable saying if it's jumping or not, we have the z-axis, which is a fake z-axis, uh, which goes up and down, but y goes also up and down, so we're gonna, I'm going to explain that. So this movement is actually just a normal RPG movement, I followed a tutorial on Heartbeasts, so if you want to make a basic RPG movement, you can go over there and check that out. So I just got the RPG movement from Heartbeat Tutorial and I'm going to show you the new code that were added here. So I'm saying, so every time we press the space button, then we're going to play the jumping animation and I'm going to set jumping to true. So the z-axis is basically just like as the y-axis in a platformer game, only that we're not going to detect until it reaches the floor, we're going to detect until z equals zero. And when it's zero or when it's lower than a certain value, then it's going to change jumping to false, making it normal again. So if we look at this again, as you can see, it's not going when we press space. Space, it jumps, it's fake z-axis, space, fake z-axis, and when it reaches a certain value, then it will stop. So that's how we know when to stop it. The shadow is basically just another thing, getting the global x position, um, copying it until the jumping is equal to true so that way it doesn't go up when it's jumping. So I don't know if this is efficient or not but what I did to make it actually go up is I just made the motion dot y when it's jumping equal to the z axis so it jumps it goes down and then when it's not jumping then it'll go back to the normal movement. So that's just the basic movement right there as you can see jumping Jumping. As you can see, it stops a little. Uh, I don't know how to fix this. So this code up here, this makes it so it can't go past the border, right here. So that's pretty good. And when we press jump, it disables that, so then we can jump. I'll put the code in the description, so if you want that, then you can go get it. But that's all we need um, to make a fake z-axis. So just to recap. We just make a fake z-axis, make it jump as if you were in platformer, and make it stop when it reaches zero. So when it touches the ground or gets the z value lower than like zero. So yeah, that's how you make it, and uh, thank you for watching this short video, and goodbye.